be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I want to show you all something special about sampling um, in Logic Pro 10. I'm going to be showing you a trick, something very simple that you can do to make samples sound very unique and, you know, just up the level of a sample. You know what I'm saying? You know, normally you drag and drop it and put it into the quick sample. I'm going to be showing you a way that you can make any sample sound, you know, dope in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create a software instrument, instrument track. And we're going to go ahead and under instrument, go to the quick sampler. Okay. And to be honest with you, we're actually not going to be using this quick sampler, but I do want to still pull it up. Um, just to show you now I have these samples right here that we're going to be using. Um, this is actually from a pack that I got off of industrykits.com. Um, and it has like different, uh, guitars in it, guitar samples. So let's check one of them out. All right. So this is pretty cool. So normally what I would do, like if I wanted to, you know, sample this i would just take it and drag it and drop it into the quick sampler um and then you know we have this all right but if you want to take your sample up to the next level in a quick easy way without like adding effects or anything um you could just take it and drag it over here to this gray area and instead of putting it into the quick sampler why don't you try coming down here and put it into this alchemy, okay? Any three of these is actually going to take this sample up to the next level. So let's put it down the granular. We'll be playing the same sample, right? Okay, so check this out. It's the same sample. So that's that one. Now you not, might not be able to hear it that well on this one. So let's let's drag it into another one. You'll see what I'm talking about here. So we used granular granular before. Let's use adaptive or additive. So it's like, it's basically, um, it's a very subtle change, okay? But you could definitely hear the difference. Let's put it in the spectral. So let's do it like this, because that way, you know, I'm just gonna side by side these, and that way you can actually hear the difference, okay? So check this out, let's do it like this. Okay, so that's that's gonna be one. Just keep on dragging this up. And I believe we're gonna have to change the note on this one. All right, bet. So we're gonna play each of these and you'll see the difference. So let's listen to this one first. Let's listen to this one. Now let's listen to this one. All 
and then this is the original. So let's just look at the difference real quick, okay? So the original, it doesn't have any effects on it or anything, but when you throw the, rec the sample into the alchemy sample part here, then you can actually control this a whole lot more. But off top, it automatically sounds different. So listen to it. This is a simple thing you can do just to make your sample sound richer, make it sound, you know, different. This one kind of, one of these like has a real of, uh, real 8-bit uh, vibe to it. I think it's the second one. But I think that this could really help our samples sound a whole lot better in Logic Pro 10. This, when I say better, I mean just more unique, more interesting, you know what I'm saying? Like this is a smoother version of the original. You can come over here and mess with these knobs, you know, change the way it sounds. I can go from this smooth right here, go to this other one. So this is just a quick way, like, you know, you can really take your samples to the next level, man. Um, just definitely wanted to show y'all that in Logic Pro 10. So very simple video, man, but um, just wanted to show y'all that. Like again, so instead of um, always putting your samples in uh, the quick sampler, you can, for a change, drag it to this gray area and you can try putting it in Alchemy and see how that uh, checks, uh, checks out. Cause it's already gonna have like different effects and different things like that that you can, you know, use to make the sample sound pretty dope without having to put some type of third party plugin on here. Um, to be honest with you, like even just putting this in here, you know, you're going to get, um, there's this plugin called murder melodies. Okay. It's murder, <laughs> murder beats plugins. And in this, these, some of these plugins sound kind of like similar. You can do some of the same things if you will. You know what I mean? You can come in here literally and you know, affect certain, you know, play around with these knobs, play around with these buttons. You can add different effects on here and different things like that. Play around the different LFOs. Um, just making this thing sound all type of crazy. Anyway, y'all, uh, appreciate y'all watching. If you liked this video, make sure that you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we are coming back to back with bangers. Also, make sure you click the link in the bio, okay, in the description of the video. I have a special offer for you all if you really want to learn more about making beats in Logic Pro 10 and just the whole process of beat making. I have a special offer for you. Click on that link. Um, it's basically going to send you to a place where you can, uh, you know, get um, a lot of great things that's going to help you take your, your beats to the next level. We got courses, we got uh, sample packs, loop packs, and different things like that that we offer at beatmakerbasis.com. And I have a special offer for you if you want to check that out. Go to the site, man, beatmakerbasis.com. I appreciate y'all watching. And till the next time, I'll see you in the next video.